Isazi in Zulu means scientist, and that explains exactly who we are. At Isazi, we are a niche group of scientists from five different disciplines. Physics, computer science, statistics, electrical engineering, and pure and applied maths. Once we define a business in a form of a mathematical equation, it gives us the opportunity to take full advantage of all the technology and with this we can then optimize a business or know exactly which levers to pull. I'm going to hand over to Dario where he's going to take you through how we've defined Unilever South Africa as an equation and more importantly show our machine learning platform called Hudson and how it saved Unilever South Africa 4 million euros in just five weeks. So three, take one. Allow me to draw the Hudson platform from start to finish. The Hudson platform provides Unilever with an opportunity to understand quantitatively the impact of decisions and strategy on the key metrics of the business. It starts by building machine learning models that can understand the three key outcomes of the business, cash, profit, and growth. The model itself can take into account variables from throughout your supply chain, from production to marketing to sales, and can allow you to see the impact of changing any of these key variables on your bottom line. In building Hudson, we took into account a variety of data sets, both from internal data sources and external to the business. Everything from geospatial information to the mechanics of specific promos. In doing this, we were ingesting data from different systems and from flat files all across the business. And this was done in a way that guarantees governance and security and does not require a central source of data in order to work. The Hudson platform is an integrated collection of models that each speaks to some aspect of the business. But what makes it interesting is that these models are all tied together so that you can trace the impact of changes in one part of the business on your fundamental KPIs. But also within the system is an understanding of external factors such as how weather and strikes and sentiment influence consumer behavior. It will also understand your competitors and be able to predict when they're going to promote. So you might look at the mechanic and price of a promo and even all the way down to the individual stores and regions in which you are promoting products and time them just right so that you hit just before your competitors and also price them just right so that you can maximize your target, whether that is market share or revenue or profit. In addition, this system will give you the ability to understand parameters all the way on the other end of the supply chain. The platform understands how production factors influence your inventory. So for example, if you can change your minimum order quantities by refactoring your production lines, the system will understand the influence this has on your risk and therefore the amount of stock you need to keep so that you can optimally allocate stock to your different products and to your different depots in order to maximize cash. Let me take you now through an example of how we've applied a portion of Hudson in one country to realize a saving of 4 million euros in five weeks. This model that we're going to consider now is the inventory planning model. And what it allows us to do is model accurately the risk introduced by various parameters within the production cycle, as well as Hudson's demand forecast. The model will give us an output for every product, the minimum amount of working capital that will need to be kept in order to achieve each service level. What's exciting 
is that as a next step, we might even be able to make this better. Because instead of only considering working capital, we can bring a new lens into this problem, and that is the lens of profit. Given a service level, the profit model will be able to look at how to distribute this across customers in order to get the maximum return for a given absolute service level per product. And this will enable you to get a maximum profit curve as a function again of service level. And bringing these two together is where it gets really exciting because now you can understand the impact of your strategy on cash. So you can understand for a given service level for a product, what is the optimal amount of cash that I can make? Really just a proxy for this is the difference between profit and working capital. And this curve will be different for every product. But for every product, the platform will be able to say, here is the optimal point, the optimal point and the optimal cash that you can make out of this product. And so it is that we can take all of this together into a business case that has already been proven. And it is the future of this platform to take this kind of thinking to different parts of the business, to different places in order to unlock more and more opportunity. What I have shown you in this last example is how you might turn one of these dials in order to optimize cash and that was service levels but the system gives you a broad integrated perspective of the entire business where you can vary all kinds of important parameters this provides a machine learning driven perspective that will complement the existing intuition to maximize the performance of the business